Hello, my name is Kendra, and this is Bruce, and this is his go-home video detailing what he knows how to do in obedience. Uh, I figured I'd start with something fun, so he's playing with his favorite toy here. This is just a jute tug off of Amazon, and you can see I'm touching his face. Uh, he's not resource guarding it at all. He loves to share his toy, and he's a pretty rough boy with the toy, so it's fun to yank him around a little bit. Um, he does a little bit of growling, but it's all in good fun. He's never shown... Any resource guarding for food or toys. He's been temperament tested. This is his heel command with a sit. I give him a verbal sit command and then I free him and we continue walking in a nice heel. This is Bruce's down command. So I just simply say the word down and he goes down in a nice position beside me and then I give him the free command and he continues to walk with me in a heel. Sometimes I have to remind him to heal, but after a gentle reminder, he's right back where he's supposed to be. This is just detailing his heel command, so he's very good at loose leash walking. Um, and I drop the leash and walk away. I've said sit. I do not say stay or wait. All of his commands are in implied stay. And then I grab the leash and say free, and he's back into a heel with me. This is going to be a down stay, so I simply say the word down. Uh, he goes down, I drop the leash, I walk away, I don't say anything else to him. I can walk away with my back turned, I come back. Once I'm next to him, I give him some treats on the floor, I grab the leash, and then I say free, and we are off again in a nice heel. This is the positioning for the sit. Um, so he's nice right by my side, pointing forward, parallel with me. I give him a free command. This is the positioning for a down. He's a little crooked because of his back hips, but I don't mind. Um, I never tried to train that out of him. I think it's kind of cute. This is his place command. He loves his place command. He will happily go onto his bed whenever you let him. I feed him on the bed because it's building a great reward history with the bed and to show that Everything on the bed is great. It is great to stay on the, bed, on the bed. Then I give him a free command while I'm standing next to him, and he comes off and we exit in a heel. And he can also do this from a distance. So I gesture, I say place, he goes on, and he lays down. He's also been taught to lay down on the place bed um, to kind of relax and simmer down and settle. This is me waiting for him to stand up so that I can show you what he does without the down command on the bed. Uh, so he stands up, he kind of gargoyles at the edge of it. I let him do it for a moment just so that you can see it. Uh, it looks like he's about to step off and it just gives me a little bit of anxiety. So I tell him down and he fixes himself right away. And then I walk up and give him some treats for making a good decision. And again, I feed him on the place bed. I slowed this clip down because he's very silly and loves his crate a little bit too much. Uh, so you can see how he is pulling at the leash. I could not hold him back from going inside the crate. He loves it too much. And then I give him a free command and he comes out. But generally this is how it will look from a distance. I say kennel, he goes, waits for me to close the door. And then he also waits until I say the word free to come out of the crate. This is a nice off-leash heel. He goes into a down command after I say the word down, and he waits. I did not stop moving, so this is a down in motion. And then I come back and I give him some treats. I say free, heel, and he's back into that nice heel position. This is a sit in motion, so I simply say sit, I do not uh, stop walking, and then I turn around and go back to him, give him some treats for his hard work, say free, heel, and he's back into the heel position, put him into another down, and then call him, say free, and he gives me a nice front position into a heel position that I help him out with my hand doing a little swivel over there, and give him some treats for that.
These are automatic sits, so I'm not telling him the word sit. I am simply not walking anymore. I stop, and he's looking at me, engages when I stop, and he stops with me, and he stops right next to me. Bruce can get a little enthusiastic about taking treats, so we've worked on the command gentle. So this is him going at it, and then I give him the gentle command, and you can see he's a lot more controlled in how he takes the treats. He remembers that um, he should be more gentle when he does that, and it's a whole lot easier to give him treats that way. He's a very good boy. And I left this in here because it's very cute. He's very cute. This is a very simple recall game that you can start with Bruce. Uh, to start building up his recall, you throw the treat out, and then you say, here. You can also say, Bruce, here, and he will come right back to you and you give him another treat. Uh, you can throw out lower quality food and then give him a higher quality food when he comes back so he knows that coming back to you is the best thing on the planet. I recommend doing this on leash first as well. You can start on leash. Um, and then get a longer leash, and then maybe in a closed-in yard do this, or do this inside of your home as well. It's a very fun and simple game for him to enjoy. He does not get frustrated at it. It's very fun for him. This is detailing how to give him a correction. Um, so upwards, quick pop and release if he needs to sit. Um, a backwards tug if he's Trudging ahead of you in a heel and a downwards correction, pop and release if you need him to go down. So upwards pressure, downwards pressure, um, very gently pressuring him to give the sit and the down command or help him figure out where he needs to go. It's not really a sharp correction, it's just a quick pop and release and it's a moment of discomfort. So this is if he breaks the place command, you, get a, you give a series of gentle, quick, uh, leash pops uh, while you're walking him back to the place bed and remind him place. This is a time lapse of five minutes of him on the place bed, but he can do 10 minutes. Uh, at the very least, he can do longer. But as you can see, he's a little restless. Uh, my favorite command is his bang and play dead command. Uh, simply show him a handgun and say the word bang, and he will fall over and play dead for ya. This one's really fun for him too. Brucey boy also has some door manners. He has been taught to sit politely at the door, and I open the door, go out, he's to stay in place. And then I come back, give him a treat for his hard work and then open the door again and say the word free, and he is able to go through with me very politely. Then we come back to the door. He gives me a sit, and he's a little excited to come in, so you can see I give him one correction, and he sits back down. And then I am able to come in, he sits nicely, and I free him back through the door. I've made sure to work on commands with him inside, outside, in yards, um, to make sure he can do his commands anywhere. So this is a heel outside with distractions. There's a sit that I've given him a sit command. And a down command. And then I drop the leash and I walk away because he's in an implied stay. So he's not to move until I say the word free. I free him. He runs to me, I give him a treat, and I get him into a heel position with a little bit of help from my hand leading him around. Place command, and a lay down on the place so he settles. And I free him. And we place from a little bit of a distance he goes right on, settles down, and I can walk around uh, basically wherever I want as long as I don't go out of his line of vision. Then he gets a little anxious. But he can typically hold a place command for about 10 minutes, a down command 
for about six minutes and a sit command for about two minutes. Um, he can probably go longer than that, but those were our test requirements. So that's what he did and he did perfect on all of his tests. And as you can see, I can move around, do different things. And he stays on that place bed. And I give him some treats for his hard work. Here we are in a play yard outside. So I have freed him and I give a recall here in a second. There we go, he comes back to me. I said here, or I might have said Bruce here to get his attention and recall him and then I free him away from me again. Then he's off and sniffing and there's lots of smells and it's a higher distraction environment than inside. And I give a recall command, I say here and he comes running back and I give him some treats. It's important to build a great reward history with your recall so that when you absolutely need it, he will definitely recall to you. I recommend starting on a short leash, then working your way up to longer leashes, and um, then getting into an enclosed play yard. And here I give him a sit in motion, and he does very well, even though we're outside with distractions and smells. He's very focused on me. And then I free him. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, otherwise, this has been everything that Bruce knows how to do. Thank you for listening.